Okay, here is another universe puzzle, and this one is on the constant alpha, otherwise known as the fine structure constant. But what is it? It's actually a very mysterious constant. It shows up in a lot of equations, as you're going to see. But let's take a look at the first constant, which is that it is dimensionless. It's a ratio. And a ratio could be a lot of different things. Um, some units divide by another units, which cancels it out and makes it dimensionless. But we don't know what those units are. But I, I will give you an example of another very famous ratio that's dimensionless, pi. And what is it? It's a length divided by a length. Right? You take a circle, its circumference divided by its diameter it is roughly equal to 3.14. And I, I say that because I'm uh, truncated uh, the remaining digits after 0.14. And same thing, for the fine structure constant is roughly about 1 divided by 137. But what is it? What are those units that cancel out to make it dimensionless? So let's move on to clue number 2. Two forces cancel each other out. So it is a ratio of the electric force divided by the strong force. What's the electric force? Um, take a particle, like the electron, it's a force that it has, and which uh, actually decreases in strength as it spreads out over... Uh, distance, uh, 360 degrees, or I should say three dimensions from that particle. And what's the strong force? Strong force holds quarks together in a proton or a neutron. So, electric force divided by strong force. Kind of a hint, still don't know what it is though. So clue number three, and it's kind of related to this one, which is if you take the square of the ele elementary charge, and you divide that by the square of the charge, you get alpha, fine structure constant again. Now this is somewhat related to the one before, um, because if the elementary charge is related to the electric force. So actually, this probably gives us more of a clue that the Planck charge is related to the strong force, just based on this equation. Now, the next one is a little bit more curious, which is why does it show up in orbitals? Now, if you take a single proton and a single electron, right, that's hydrogen, and the electron will do an orbit, and the most probable distance is known as the Bohr radius, and the electron's classical radius, RE. So you take the classical radius, divide it by the Bohr radius, and then take that square root, and you get alpha. But again, why is it related to orbitals? And the last one, returning back to some of the Planck units, is why is it related to masses, like the electron's mass and the Planck mass? And first off, what is the Planck mass? So if you do a ratio of the electron's mass and multiply it by the electron's classical radius, and then you divide that by the Planck mass, multiply by the Planck length, again, you get alpha. So I'm going to leave you with that question I started with, what are your thoughts on the fine structure constant? What is it really?